you don't know what an AP board is, I didn't know either until I needed to replace the part. So this is an AP board. It comes with little screws. If you're wondering, why did you need to replace the AP board? Well, I'll tell you what. I used to have my 3D printer on this mini fridge and I went to put the glue onto the plate, not realizing I took the entire lid off. I noticed I got a phone call from my mom, so I went to answer it and I spilled all of the glue, the rest that was in the container on top of where the micro SD card slot is. So I wiped it down and I thought it was all good. It worked perfectly fine, but... But it stopped working when I went to take my micro SD card out. So I took my micro SD card out. I tried to put it into my adapter into the laptop and it wasn't being read because the plating on the back of the micro SD card was ripped from the glue. So I couldn't even take the micro SD card out normally. You know how you push it in and it springs in or springs out? I couldn't do that. So I literally had to take it out with pliers to get it out. And then I was hoping it would still work. But I put a new micro SD card into the slot, hoping it would work. It still didn't work. I did reformat my micro, my micro SD card so I know it was formatted correctly. It's just that the slot is not working. There was a bunch of glue stuck in there and I tried to clean it out and it just still wasn't working. So I probably could have just replaced this part. Um, they sell this part alone, not Bamboo Labs, but you can get it on Amazon. I just would have needed to take it out and resolder it, but there was glue all over the, all of this other stuff. So I figured it's just better to replace the entire thing. This goes right behind the screen. Right here we have the screen. Um, I actually had to look up a video on how to put the screen on because I couldn't get it off. And then I realized I couldn't get it off because of the glue. So it's not that hard. I already did this, but I'm just filming it to show you guys how to do this. And I did it when I was trying to clean out the SD card slot because I actually already took apart the entire piece. But I put it back together hoping it would work and it didn't work. So I'm going to do it again. Um, you have to push the screen this way. And then it comes out just like that. So I'm actually going to turn the printer off. I thought it was already off, so it is off now. And I'm gonna stick your fingers in here, pull this out. There we go. I can put this down for later. Now on this side, this tape actually comes off. You're gonna have to pull this off to um, get where you need to get to unscrew the other side. Okay, so you have four hex holes, screws, and if you got this box with from Bamboo Labs, you're actually gonna have the tool that you need to unscrew these things. Looks like this. One thing I did not go over before I unscrewed that is when you pull this off, you gotta be careful because the camera wire is right here. So it's actually, there's like this, this little tiny thing you're supposed to lift it up and then pull this. But I accidentally just yanked it out and hopefully I did not break it. But um, you're also gonna unplug this little piece right here. And then there's this tiny piece right here that you also have to unplug. Okay, there we go. 
It's kind of hard to see. Let's get a close up. Now it should just come off. All right, I had to fight with it a little, but there was also another piece on this side that has to be taken off. This piece right here. Okay, here's the old piece. We actually need to keep this, but here's the old piece. And um, you probably can't see it, but the micro SD card slot is definitely broken. Here's the old one. You stick the card in there. It doesn't even stay down. Probably because I broke it trying to clean it out. And here's the new one. You get that little snap, and then you push it in, it comes right out. That's how it should work. We're going to put this new one on. I'll plug in this back in here. And it's going to go in this way. So this is going to go through here, but first you want to plug in that other piece before you do that. Otherwise, it's going to be impossible. Not impossible, but it's going to be harder for you to put back on. So, you want to put this piece back on. And then this. And then we can slide over this piece through the hole. And then when you're putting this back on, this little tiny wire, you want to make sure this one right here. You want to make sure it goes in between this little divot and that it's not being pinched underneath here. You kind of have to lift this up to get it in there. And then there's these little holes down here that hold this in place so just to make sure before i plug everything in i'm going to stick this in there yeah i don't have it lined up properly all right how about now Okay, I definitely don't have it lined up. It just slid down. go you want that snap okay so now you know it's lined up properly we got the little wire in between the little divot we already plugged in the back wire and now we're gonna plug in this one back in here we're gonna plug in this back into that little metal thingy and then last but not least, the camera. This is the camera wire. So this tab has to go this way. And then we're gonna plug in the wire.
You know, I have little fingers and I can't imagine how people with big fingers struggle with this stuff. Okay. I think I got it in there. Now this is just to protect the wires and stuff. But I'm going to screw the screws back in. All right, let's put the tape back over it. All right, hopefully I got that on good enough. Let me just double check the micro SD card slot again. It did not move. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to plug the screen back in. This is the wire that connects to this side. And then I'm going to slide this in just like how you do when you first get the printer. Push and then slide. All right. I'm going to turn this bad boy on. The screen is working. Hmm. I did not get this last time. Please make sure that you have removed the screw fixed the hotbed. Oh, I wonder if changing that completely treats it like a new printer. Huh. All right, let me pause this and we'll get back to it. I thought after replacing the AP board that I was good, but that is not the case. Um, it won't bind the printer to my Bamboo account. I went on the Bamboo Lab wiki and found out that if you get a new AP board or you replace the AP board, it has to be activated by Bamboo. So, the issue that I was having was with the Bamboo app, it wasn't binding the printer. Like it was on my printer, it's showing that it's connected to the Wi-Fi, And then I kept getting this error code, which I'm gonna show a screenshot of it over here. But the error code was saying device invalid and please contact customer support. Bamboo Labs does not have a contact for customer support. You have to submit a ticket, so. You can either submit the ticket through the app itself or on the website. I was trying to do it from the app itself on my phone. Um, I already submitted the ticket, so I unfortunately I won't be able to show you the process. Maybe I can do that in another video. But when I was submitting the ticket, they needed the serial number of the printer. I was trying to find the serial number. I didn't know how to find it. So the serial number for future reference is right here that little qr code that's the serial number also you can get the serial number if you go down here serial number is right there so if you replace the ap board it's changing the serial number so the serial number of the printer is not the same as the ap board and that's why it needs to be activated so when i was looking on the bamboo lab wiki it says that after sales service can activate the new AP board for your printer. I wish that they would say this when you actually buy the AP board, but it was not listed anywhere on the page on their website. You're going to have to wait for the Bamboo Lab customer service to reply to your ticket and see if I have any updates. So with that being said, you actually need the new serial number of the AP board. I probably should have taken that from the back of the SD card slot before I put it in, but I was actually able to scan it while it was still in there. I just needed to remove the back tape part that I showed you guys to remove. Just make sure you send that in 
when you submit the ticket because I submitted the ticket already without that and they're probably that's probably the first thing that they're gonna ask me for and then I'm probably gonna have to wait longer so learn from my mistakes if you've actually submitted a support ticket already you can go back and add more there's a green add more button at the bottom it's been a couple of days now though that I've been waiting for them to get back to me and it's because of the Chinese New Year so this is good information to have if you made it this far, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments. Thank you.